everyone, I'm Holly Mill. We're thrilled to share the Song of Autumn's Bride with you on this book launch weekend. Um, I'm using Bold Glamour because I'm a corporate girly working from home for half a day this morning and can't be bothered to put on makeup now. So anyway, I want to tell you about my journey into fairy. It began when I was a teenager in a small town in Idaho in the 90s. Crazy, huh? You wouldn't think that Celtic mythology and the Fae would be something that a uh, small town agricultural <laughs> Idaho girl would care about or like know much about. But in the pages of Celtic mythology, in W.B. Yeats' poetry, in books like Charles de Lint's Newford series, um, in plays like Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, and through the enchanting melodies of Lorena McKennett, my love for Celtic mythology and for the lore of the Fae grew and grew. Now, my book, a protagonist, female main character, Aurora, her tale sprang from a dream that I had a few years ago, one that haunted me as I woke up and it stayed with me for several days. So I don't mean the plot of that dream, but the feeling that it evoked in me. And it was a feeling of feeling trapped yet defiant, seizing control within a world that's dictated by others where nothing is quite as it seems. So I took that feeling and combined it with something that Titania, the queen, queen of the fairies, says in A Midsummer Night's Dream. She's talking to Oberon, king of fairy, and her husband about a dispute that they've been having. And here's what she says. She says, the spring, the summer, the childing autumn, angry winter change their wanted liveries and the mazed world by their increase knows not which is which. In other words, the fighting between these two rulers of fairy has caused the seasons in the human world to become all out of sorts, resulting in all kinds of different natural disasters, which can be, as we know, extremely dangerous for we humans. This is where the Song of Autumn's Bride was born, like in this idea of someone feeling trapped and in a question about why the seasons or the entities that rule these seasons are at war with one another. So the story evolved from there in ways I couldn't have first imagined. So while writing this book, I had at least one great shock. As a writer, there's nothing more fun than writing and suddenly realizing that your characters have come to life and have their own ideas about their story and um, you know, where their tale will go. In other words, there's something that happens in this book that I didn't see coming when I first started writing it. So that was a lot of fun. Um, anyway, I hope that you'll dive into the Song of Autumn's Ride. Available now, walk in the shadowed paths of the fake courts with Aurora and discover if love can alter fate. So I'll link to my website in my bio and it will take you to the quick links for the book, the ebook, or the audio versions. Happy reading!